I'm Andrea Hoffman, respiratory therapist, and in this video we're going to go over some common issues you may experience with your oxygen concentrator. So I'm going to go ahead and turn our concentrator on. You'll see that these three lights are going to illuminate. These two indicate our alarm, and then this indicates that our uh, concentrator is working correctly. So the first issue we may experience with our concentrator is if for some reason the concentrator has lost power, okay? If so, you're going to get this loud audible alarm. So you can see that we don't have any alarm indicators, but you can hear that audible noise. So we're going to go ahead and turn the concentrator off so you can figure out what has happened. So obviously if the power is out in the home, that is why your concentrator has lost power. You'll want to switch to your backup e-tank. If you anticipate it being out for an extended amount of time, you're going to want to relocate. But if the power is on in the home and you still do not have power to your concentrator, you're going to want to look at the outlet. So is the outlet on a switch and someone switched the switch? Or is the outlet just not working um, due to maybe a power surge or, or whatever? You'll want to go ahead and change the outlet and see if your concentrator turns on then. So I'm going to go ahead and turn our concentrator back on. The second issue you may experience is if your tubing is kinked. So you're walking around your home and maneuvering throughout the house with a long tubing connected to your cannula. That may get stuck under a chair or around a corner and it may have a kink in it. So in order to simulate the kinked hose, I'm going to disconnect the tubing here and I'm going to block the port. So you can see that we're receiving these alarms and the ball on the flow meter has dropped all the way down to the bottom. So what I would like you to do is follow your tubing from the outlet all the way around to your cannula and see if you can find that kink. If you feel that there's no kink in the tubing, what I would like you to do is remove the tubing from the outlet and see if the alarm stops. If the alarm stops, then indeed there was a kink, even though you couldn't maybe visibly, visibly see it. So you'd go ahead and switch out your cannula and your long tubing, and you would put it back on here. And you would see after a moment, the alarm will stop. The third issue you may experience is if you're using a humidifier bottle. So some patients require some humidity with the oxygen because it can be very drying to their sinus passages. So this is what our humidifier bottle looks like. You can see that there's two pieces here. We have our lid with our bubbler on there and then our actual container that we fill. Distilled water only. You have your max line up top here and your minimum line down here. So if you choose to use tap water instead of the distilled that's recommended, you'll find that this bubbler here is going to get um, clogged with the minerals that are in the tap water and it no longer will bubble and you won't actually be receiving any of that humidification. So when we're putting this on, it's very important to wash the thread and make sure that it's threaded correctly. Then we have our short connector hose, which we need to connect here on top of our humidifier bottle. So on this specific concentrator, the bubbler or humidifier bottle attaches in the back and has a strap to keep it secure. Your short hose is then going to go to your outlet and your long tubing is going to go to your humidifier bottle. You should then see bubbles happening in that humidifier bottle and you should feel the flow at the end of the cannula. If you're using the humidifier bottle and you feel that the flow is not coming out the end of the cannula, the first thing I want you to make sure is that this is threaded correctly. You also can put your cannula or your tubing into a little glass of water and see if you experience bubbles in there because if you are, then there is flow coming through that cannula. So if you have trouble shot the device with the alarms, but you cannot get the alarms to stop, it is very important for you to call your provider, give us a call so we can help figure out what is going on with your concentrator. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you very much.